I wrote a lot of things down. So tens of millions of black Americans, or, or rather Indians, who disappeared after 1492 did not all die in a Holocaust inflicted within America. Hundreds of thousands were shipped to Europe and Africa as Indian slaves. The whole slave trade story was given to us as in, re in reverse. A mass colony of Africans were not shipped from Africa to America. The truth is that black Indians were shipped from America to Europe. They were then shipped from Spain to Africa as a commodity for African resources. These black Indians, now mistaken as African Americans, were shipped back to America and classified as African slaves. This part of our history is what the school system fails to mention in history programs. Every European nation that colonized North America utilized Indian slaves for construction, plantations, mining, the North mining on the North American continent. But more frequently is their outposts, their outposts in the Caribbean and in the metro poles of Europe. All historians note that nowhere is there more authentic documentation than in South Carolina also known as the original English colony of Carolina, established in 1670. It estimated that between 1650 and 1730, at least 50,000 Indians, and likely more due to transactions hidden to avoid paying government traffic and taxes, were exploited by the English alone to the Caribbean outposts, and likely more due to transactions hidden to avoid paying government traffic and taxes were exploited by the English alone to the Caribbean outposts. Between 1670 and 1770, far more Indians were ex exported than Africans were imported. In southern coastal regions, entire tribes were exterminated through slavery compared to disease or war. In a law passed in 1704, Indian slaves were conscripted to fight in wars for colonies long before the American Revolution. Indians found themselves caught in between colonial strategies for power and economic control. The fur trade in the Northeast, the English plantation system in the South, and the Spanish mission system in Florida collided with major disruptions to the Indian communities. Indians displaced from the fur trade in the north migrated south where plantation owners armed them to hunt for slaves living in the Spanish mission communities. The French, the English, and the Spanish often capitalized on the slave trade in other ways. For example, they garnered, they garnered diplomatic favors when they negotiated the freedom of slaves in exchange for peace, friendship, and military alliance. In other instances, an Indian in colonial capacity in the slave trade, the British had established ties with the Chickasaw who were surrounded by enemies on all sides in Georgia. They conducted extensive slave raids in the lower Mississippi Valley where the French had a foothold, which they sold to the English as a way to reduce Indian populations and keep the French from uh, arming them first. Ironically, the English also saw it as a more effective way to civilize them compared to efforts of the French missionaries. The Indian slave trade covered an area from as far as west and south as New Mexico. The, the Spanish territories northward to the Great Lakes. Historians believe that all tribes in this vast swath of land were caught up in the slave trade in one or another, either as captives or as traders. Slavery was a part of a larger strategy to depopulate the land to make way for European settlers. As early as, the sixth, as 1636, after the Piscot War, in which 300 Piscots, I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong, were massacred, those who remained were sold into slavery and sent to Bermuda. Sent to Bermuda, major, a major slave import included Boston, Salem, Mobile, and New Orleans. From those ports, Indians were shipped to Barbados by the English. I can't even say Martig Martigu and Guadeloupe by the French and the Allies. And, and Antilles, I can't say these words, Antilles by the Dutch. Indian slaves were also sent to Bahamas as the breaking ground where they might have been transported back to New York or to Antigua. The historical records indicate a perception that Indians did not make good slaves. When they were shipped far from their home territories, they too easily escaped and were given refuge by other Indians 
if not in their own communities. They died in high numbers of, of translucent, transatlantic journeys and succumbed easily to European disease. By 1676, Barbados had banned Indian slavery, citing too bloody and dangerous and an inclination in t to remain here. As the Indian slave trade gave way to the African slave trade by the late 1700s, by then over 300 years old Native American women began to intermarry. After 300 years, Native American women began to intermarry with imported Africans, producing mixed race offsprings whose native identities became obscured through time. In the colonies, Products to eliminate the landscape of Indians, these mixed race people simply became known as colored people through bureaucratic insurances and public record. In some cases, such as Virginia, even when people were designated as Indians on their birth or death certificates or other public records, their records were changed to reflect colored. Censor takers determine a person's race by their looks, often recording mixed race people or Indians as simply black, not Indian. The result is that today there's a population of people of Native American heritage and identity, particularly in the Northeast, who are not recognized by society as large, sharing similar circumstances with freedmen of the Cherokee and other five civilized tribes, as documented on the Dwell's Roll card by the United States Dawes Roll Administration. Native American Indian tribes have been awarded nearly a billion dollars in historic sediment in early September 2005. Native American Indian tribes have been awarded nearly a billion dollars in historical sediments in early September 2015. 645 Native American tribes won sediments against the U.S. Department of Justice, totaling in the amount of $940 million. The United States government was very fearful that more Native Indians, also known as colored Negroes, black or blank, meaning no race mentioned in the birth certificate, would discover their true history and bloodline heritage and that they will be forced to grant them all respirations and land. So the U.S. silently, silently declared a deadline of December 31st, 2014 for those people to make land claims and, identify, and identity claims. Even though the deadline has passed, there are thousands, thousands of Native Indians still winning settlements throughout the U.S. throughout the U.S. Supreme Court and almost commonly through the United Nations Court. So do not give up your fight because there, where there's a will, there is a way. They are so scared of millions of people waking up and saying, I'm not black, I'm Indian, and I want my land, and I want my money, that they change the laws that you cannot, without even putting on the news, you cannot claim to be a native.